Welcome to the bullpen. First time live remote streaming technology, and it's just a taste of what's to come. And I want to present New York City's chief digital officer. Who knew we had one? Well, you did because we announced her when we appointed her, Rachel Stern. Rachel? Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Well, over the past few months, we've talked to thousands of New Yorkers to find out what they want in their digital city. We've heard from them on Twitter, on Facebook, on the phone, even the old-fashioned way, in person. And what they've said is that they Anybody write a letter? They, a couple of letters, Good. a couple of letters, a couple of faxes. Um, what they've said is that they want to find information easier and faster than ever before. And so we've laid out a plan to do exactly that. Okay. For instance, right now we're streaming this live online. We're looking to do more and more an announcements that way. Um, and even this morning and yesterday, we started to get questions from people to at NYC Mayor's office on Twitter using the hashtag AskMike right. about what they'd like to know about this plan. So should we take a few questions? Absolutely. Great. So our first question is from Techno Gorilla. His question is, how do you envision location-based networks like Gowalla and Foursquare being utilized to the benefit of the city? And somebody sent you this message electronically. Exactly, on Twitter using the Ask Mike hashtag. Um, well, we're going to announce, the answer to your question is, we're going to announce a new agreement today with Foursquare, a company I went to visit. Lots of smart people, a new business, creating a lot of new jobs in the city. And uh, they're providing a new toolkit for small businesses to use, and it really is going to make a difference. Absolutely, and we'll be introducing a new badge with Foursquare that encourages New Yorkers to go to New York City government's wonderful public spaces, and we'll be helping small businesses create new deals. You got another question? Yes, here absolutely. To, to here's, here's, the, here's the next one from Craig Elamalia. What kind of incentive programs is the city organizing to motivate app developers to use New York City data in apps? Well, we have our big apps program. Every year I go and give out the, the awards, and some of them are actually cash awards. But uh, lots of people submit their apps, and those that really make the most sense and have the most potential get, to, they get, get a chance to win. Uh, NYC Media has incubators and other business incubators around the city, up in the uh, banknote building in the Bronx, uh, over uh, downtown here. They're around the city, and it gives entrepreneurs low-cost space to set up their uh, company, but also the chance to meet with other people doing similar kinds of things. So maybe they can get together, combine products, learn from each other. Uh, sometimes one and one adds up to a lot more than two, and that's a chance to uh, to do it. And you're going to talk uh, about absolutely. some other things. Absolutely. Yes. Well, the the New York the NYC Big Apps competition has been an enormous success. Today, the city is one of the most sophisticated open data programs in the country, if not the world. And I have a bunch of their apps on my iPhone. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. We have a bunch of those apps right there. We've got over 350 data sets, and we've created hundreds of independent apps at essentially no cost. So it's been a huge success, Good. and we're going to announce new plans. Good. So, so we have one. One more question here. This is from William Alvarez, and his question is, will NYC ever get the .NYC domain? We are going to answer that when we get downstairs. Stay tuned. Uh, we're going downstairs to hear more about the roadmap for the digital city. So uh, stand by. Uh, we've got about 40 steps to go. Absolutely. Each See one at a time. We'll walk down arm in arm. Thank you. Thanks. Okay.